we're going to start out uh, our time before we jump into our teaching time. Uh, one of the things that we love and we want to do more together is to share personal stories, to hear from one another uh, about what God's done and is doing in our lives. And so uh, today we're going to start out by hearing from uh, our own Chris Brubeck about a specific way that he's been leaning in more deeply uh, with personal renewal. So let's see if I can find the Brubecks. Are you st- are, are, they, are you there? Let's see. Are you unmuted? I see you. So I've been using the Pray As You Go app. I think Ben shared that not too long ago on my birthday, actually. Um, you know, it's just been good. Uh, it's, it's short and sweet, and I tend to be busy. Um, it's been a good way for me to engage with the Lord every day and kind of create a new habit. Um, and it's kind of a mix of, you know, there's, there's a scripture reading, and then, you know, uh, after the scripture reading, um, you know, they ask some, some questions that kind of push you into thinking through what that means and how you can apply that um, to yourself in your own walk. And then there's also some music, which is relaxing. Um, I find it very difficult to just sit and read. Um, and so this has been good because it kind of can help my mind slow down. And so I've just been doing that. I try to do it in the morning before the day really gets started, or sometimes I've even had to do it, you know, and even just hang out for a little bit and wait for the kids to go and everybody to get their day started. And, um, no, it's just been a rich time and thinking about friendship and love and, um, what that means to really pursue that on a daily basis and pursue that relationship with Christ, just like we do any other relationship. Um, so it's kind of made it more real in that sense. I mean, I've always believed that Christ died for me, but really engaging on a daily basis. And um, so that app has really been helpful for me because um, I tend to be busy and tend to be easily distracted. And um, no, it's just been a rich time. and. Um, yeah, just going to try to continue to do that. And then hopefully that leads into other things and, um, can continue to create new habits out of that. So that's That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think that that's the, exactly the kind of things we want to hear. Uh, and if, if you, if you're listening and and you've got something that you've been, uh, chewing on or a way that you've been, uh, trying to grow personally this season, we'd love to hear it uh, in the future. Chris, uh, would you be willing to, to say a quick prayer, uh, for us before you sign? Well, not sign out. You're going to stay with us, hopefully, but before uh, we transition into the teaching time. Sure. Why not? Um, Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for this community that we have here. Um, Yeah, we're just so thankful, especially in this time of of distancing physically, um, you know, that we can still be socially close, and um, and that kind of be a good parallel and reminder for, you know, we may be physically distant from you, um, but we can be socially close, and I just ask you use Dave and um, in this time to to speak to our hearts through him. And um, yeah, we love you. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Chris.